distribution of an object has to do with the amount of space that's between multiple objects. So right now I've got four different squares that are set up and if I wanted them to be evenly spaced, distribution is how we can do it. Just like with alignment, you can go to the options here and you've got several different little icons that will show you the kind of distribution you'll be doing. You also need to pay attention to what it's aligned to, a selection, a key object, or the artboard. Right now I've got selections selected, so if I was to choose all four of these objects and I wanted them to be equally distributed, I could use one of these uh, distributions. The thing to remember is the edge or the, uh, the key area that it's distributing. Right now, if I chose this middle one, the horizontal distribute center, clicking it, it'll distribute them evenly based on their center point. Now, if I did any other one, since they're all squares, it would look exactly the same. However, if you have an object that's not the same, so let's say I made this one much smaller, and this one, let's make it a little bit smaller that way. Now, if I was to select them, and do let's do the horizontal middle there it goes the center point is exactly the same distance between all of them but if I was to say choose the horizontal left it's going to move one of these over that's because the leftmost point is now evenly distributed for each one of these the second thing to remember is the uh, alignment to perhaps the artboard so if I had all of these and I wanted them to be evenly distributed across my page. I can select them, let's choose align to artboard, and then if I choose distribute center, it'll spread them out from one edge of my artboard to the other edge of the artboard. The final thing is using the alignment and distribution together. So if I wanted all of these to be perfectly aligned going vertically, well first of all I'm going to select them, Let's do an alignment that's vertical. So I've got them neatly lined up. And we'll back up. And let's say I wanted these to be distributed evenly across their center points. So I'm going to select those, change my alignment to selection, and then choose the vertical distribution to the center. And they'll be evenly distributed that way. Alignment and distribution often go hand in hand. But it's important to remember that they're both separate different things.